We're going to note a couple of quick things with the Multicam Turbo back. Here's the starter panel. We're going to open that up, check that your incoming voltage is the proper voltage for the specified starter panel, and make sure that your controller is hooked up properly, and that's the on-off control wires going to the box as well. Once we've done that, before we turn on the pump, we want to check rotation. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, first thing we're going to do is take off this cover. Carefully take both hands and squeeze the two sides. That'll pop the cover loose and then you could remove the cover. Now the filter, you can also pull out gently and place to the side. Now the reason we do that is because if we power this thing up and it is blowing air instead of sucking air in, it would want to blow that filter out and could possibly damage your plastic top. So we don't want to do that. So with that out and the filter out, we're going to leave this uh, open so we can feel if this is blowing or sucking air in. And here's the exhaust down here. So that should also be blowing air out uh, from here. That's another way to check. So at this point, all we're going to do is bump this vacuum pump. We're going to turn it on and turn it off real quick. And then you're going to be able to tell real quickly where that pump is at. So to bump this, I'm simply going to turn it on and then back off. You're going to have to have somebody back there at the vacuum pump to verify that the rotation is correct. And if it's not, you can swap one of the incoming power wires. So you would do that again inside that starter panel. Swap one of the wire locations, that'll reverse the current direction. And make sure this thing is running in the right direction before putting full power to it and trying to hold down any material. Hope this helps.